Okay, today I'm going to be putting kinetic sand in my vacuum chamber to see if it makes it not so kinetic. So we'll see if it changes the properties at all to not have air around it. And then we'll test some other things that might change the properties of it, like pouring liquid nitrogen on it. So kinetic sand is 98% sand and then 2% PDMS stands for polydimethyl siloxane, which is a silicone based oil. And because that doesn't really evaporate in air, this stuff never dries out. So it's like playing with wet sand indefinitely. So let's see if putting this in the vacuum chamber changes how it acts. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it in a loose pile on the floor here. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> and I'm gonna put in some magnets. And then once it gets under full vacuum, we'll see if it still acts the same way. So I'm not quite sure how it's gonna act going under vacuum. I don't know if it will expand, I don't think so. But there are a lot of little air pockets in there. But there's only one way to find out. Let's put it under vacuum and see if it's still kinetic sand under a vacuum. Okay, kinetic sand in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, we're at half an atmosphere already. Three atmospheres, I don't see it expanding really. Okay, we're at 0.1 atmospheres. Okay, we're at full vacuum now. Let's see what the kinetic sand acts like under vacuum. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here's a piece of it. Okay, so I got a little chunk over here. See if this looks like normal kinetic sand or not. So it seems a little bit stiffer than normal. Seems like it doesn't flow as easy. To me it does seem a little bit stiffer though. So let's let the air back in and see. Three, two, one. Huh. Yeah, this does flow a lot easier. That's interesting. So look, look how more liquidy it seems. The magnet can easily get through it. When it was under the vacuum, it kind of stayed clumped together and the magnet had a harder time getting through it. See how this flows a lot easier? That's really interesting. I'm not sure why that would happen. <laughs> yeah, this definitely acts different in air than in a vacuum. I'm very surprised by this. I would not have expected that. It may have something to do with the moisture in the air more than the air itself. So it might be capturing a little bit of moisture from the air and that makes it be more fluid. Even though it doesn't dry out, it seems like there could be a small coating of moisture on it, water, that's keeping it more fluid-like. And when it's under vacuum, that evaporates and you lose it, but in the air you get it back, so it's a little bit more fluid in air than in the vacuum. Okay, so this wasn't a huge dramatic effect. Being in a vacuum changed the kinetic sand a little bit, so it became a little bit less kinetic, 
But let's see now what happens when we put it under liquid nitrogen. Okay, let's get some liquid nitrogen. Okay, so let's pour it on now and see how kinetic it is. Make a little divot in it. Well, it turned a different color. <laughs> it turned hot pink and now it just crumbles. <laughs> Oh, that's cold sand. The liquid nitrogen turns kinetic sand into regular sand. Just looks, just looks like normal sand. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, so this is much more of a difference than putting it in the vacuum chamber. So on the side here is pretty cold sand and the colder it gets, the less kinetic it is. In the middle here, just really cold non-kinetic sand. If I can pour it in my hand and heat it up a little. Oof. If I can warm it back up, then it starts to work again. So basically what's happening here is it's freezing the polydimethyl siloxane. PDMS, which is what makes kinetic sand kinetic sand, it doesn't really freeze. Essentially what it does is it vitrifies. It becomes a glassy substance. So when I say I'm freezing it, it's essentially freezing, but not really. Okay, let's use up the rest of our liquid nitrogen. It's interesting how it changes color. Let's see if we can warm this back up and see if it becomes regular kinetic sand again. I don't think the liquid nitrogen permanently did anything to it, but let's warm it up and check. So one thing I've noticed after putting the liquid nitrogen is it's pretty crumbly. It's more fluid-like than before. And again, my guess on that is because it got really cold and so a lot of the water from the air condensed on it and so the water makes it more fluid-like. And this actually confirms my earlier theory about why it changed in the vacuum chamber. It became a little bit more stiff. And I said that's because probably the water was evaporating from it, and so it wasn't as fluid-like. Because it's noticeably different after the liquid nitrogen, it becomes a little bit more crumbly and falls apart easier. So it looks like they say kinetic sand never dries out, but that's the PDMS in it that won't evaporate, but the amount of water vapor in it actually does change how it acts. Don't let those big company kinetic sand people fool you. Another thing they tricked me on is they said kinetic sand was easy to clean up, but not to get out of leather gloves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. So yet again, I was surprised in one of my videos on what actually happened. So I knew that liquid nitrogen would make it less kinetic because I knew it would really solidify the PDMS in the kinetic sand. But for the vacuum chamber, I didn't actually think it would do anything. And it kind of looked like it didn't do anything, but it actually made a pretty big difference when it was in the vacuum. It wasn't as smooth, it was more rigid, and it didn't flow as easily. And my guess is it's due to the water vapor that gets mixed in with the kinetic sand. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments section. And if you haven't subscribed to the Action Lab yet, remember to hit the subscribe button. And you can be notified when my latest video comes out by hitting the bell button. I'm usually more active right when I post a video, so I can try to return some of your comments on there. And as always, I'll see you next time. So as I'm putting my kinetic sand away, I'm guessing that it'll dry up in a few days. I'm gonna leave it open. And as it dries, it'll become more like the original kinetic sand out of the package. And I just wanted to mention, this is a prime example of why I love experimentation because I really didn't think anything would happen. 
you could call it the scientific method. My hypothesis was that nothing would happen when I put it in the vacuum chamber. And that's why I love doing this channel because I do these little experiments that probably have never been done before because why would anyone ever do that? But it's really cool to see the results and it helps you learn about the world around you from doing stupid little experiments. So I encourage all of you to do stupid little experiments just to see what would happen. But the most important part is don't just do the experiment and see what happens. Do the experiment, look at it, and try to figure out why what happened happened. And you'll probably learn something when you do that.